In Alias 2012, there are some significant interaction improvements in the direct modeling workflow. I'll start with some general interface improvements. First, when you create a curve, all of the Curve Tool option windows now have a new section called Pivot Position, where you set the starting location of the curve pivot. And the default setting is now on the first CV instead of the grid origin. Second, the Control Panel Rebuild now has a drop-down menu for changing the degree or the number of spans. The Cross-Section Editor has a new icon in the Control Panel to make it quicker to access during direct modeling. And the hull display can now be customized. On the Draw Style options, the V hull lines can be shown as dotted. And on the User Colors, you can choose different colors for U and V. And finally, the main part of this movie will cover the Move CV tool in the Control Panel, which has been renamed Transform CV, and has some significant improvements, including a new hotspot interface activated by the spacebar. So now I'll take you through some of these new features in more detail. Here's a model of a kitchen knife with a sculpted handle, which was created by direct modeling which is simply moving CVs by hand to sculpt the shape. I've now started to use the new draw style settings to set the V hulls to dotted so that they're easier to recognize. And over in the user color settings, I can now customize the color of the two hull directions, U and V. And this is the section for the inactive modeling colors. If I want to see the difference when I pick the surface as well, it makes sense to also change the active modeling colors. And here I'll choose a paler pink and a lighter green. My surface needs a bit of work, so I'll put a curvature comb plot onto this lower profile. And this glitch here is typical of a degree 3 surface, so I can rebuild it using the new pull down menu and I don't have to move my hand off the mouse to type. The deviation is shown automatically now, so the button's been removed. And I can undo and redo, which I couldn't do before. If I want to adjust this hull here, I can use the Transform CV to move it. And if the movement is too quick, I can take advantage of the mouse sensitivity setting to give me fine, accurate control over smaller movements. But if I want to rotate it, for example, I've previously had to switch away from the control panel to the palette to set the pivot and do the rotate. If I use my marking menu, it's less time consuming, but still the movement can be quite coarse and I don't have fine control. So now we have all the transform tools on the new transform menu, not just move CV. So now I can rotate this hull, and more importantly use mouse sensitivity to give me more accurate control. I can set the pivot point, and do say a non-proportional scale, and still adjust that sensitivity. Adding mouse sensitivity to all the transform tools was a key aim of the new Transform CV, but the intention was also to reduce the time travelling between the model and the control panel. And this has been achieved with the new Hotspot interface, which appears at your cursor location when you hit the spacebar. In the centre I have Pick Hull and Pick CV, and on the bottom strip I have all the transform tools. For Rotate, Scale, Non-P-Scale and Pivot, the outer ring is blank as these tools don't have any options and work simply in the same way as the palette tools. For Move CV, all the mode options appear that you get on the mode menu in the control panel. And the only settings not in the hotspot are the sensitivity, pick box and step size. This hotspot works particularly well if you have Transform CV on a hotkey or marking menu, so you can work independently of the interface, for example in a full screen mode. So here I can continue working at the front end of the handle, 
The spacebar activates the hotspot, so I can pick a CV and do an XYZ move, for example. I can switch to a slide and then to an NUV. If I move to another CV, I can do a project or if I prefer a project parallel, which is now a separate tool. I can switch to picking hulls and set a pivot point and do a non-proportional scale, all while staying focused on my model and not having to constantly travel to the control panel. Finally, I want to look at the new mode setting for Move CV called View. And there are two ways of understanding how this works. Firstly, if you work in a typical full window mode and use the transform tools, then you'll be familiar with which mouse buttons control which directions. In the 2D orthogonal windows, the three mouse buttons are set to free, horizontal and vertical. And it's the same in each 2D view and therefore is independent of the actual model axes. In the 3D view it's always been different and the mouse buttons control the X, Y and Z directions. The new view mode in the Transform CV tool now lets you apply that free horizontal vertical mouse mapping to any 3D view. Another way to look at it is that the X, Y, Z mode relates to the world space. Whereas the NUV slide and project all relate to the parameter space of your surface and so are particularly useful when working at an angle. But the new view mode relates to the user's position, viewing the surface, and so will change relative to the model each time the view changes, but it always stays consistent from the user's viewpoint. On this car, if I want to use Transform CV on this top roof surface, for example, then because it lines up nicely with the grid axes, Moving CVs in the XYZ directions is quite intuitive. But if I switch to this angled front windscreen, then XYZ won't work so well. So if I can find a view at a useful orientation to my surface, in this case I'll use the point of interest, now the new view mode works really well. With the first mouse button I can work freely in the view or I can constrain horizontally with the middle button or vertically with the right. And it's a way that I can work quickly without having to create a construction plane. If I now have a look at this more curved surface at the rear three-quarter view, it can be tricky to know which direction to work in to tidy up the surface. But with view mode I can just find the view that shows me the issues and then quickly make adjustments. And here I'm using the first mouse button and judging the movements by eye. And this view mode is a very intuitive, free way of working which is now added to the other more disciplined modes for Transform CV. All these new ways of working with Transform CV are optional. If the Transform menu is set to Move, then it works exactly the same as the old Move CV tool, so you don't need to change any of your existing workflow. But if you want very accurate control, you can now use the mouse sensitivity slider when rotating or scaling CVs. For intuitive, quick modelling, try the new View mode. And the new Hotspot interface lets you focus on your model without having to move to the control panel so often. And finally, this movie hasn't focused on the new proportional modification tool, as this is covered in detail in a separate movie in this collection.